Hello everyone. So a few months ago during the Black Friday sale, I got an awesome deal and bought the annual package of the Snape Cheap Shade hosting plan. So you can see my current hosting plan expiry date is in November 2021. So since then for the past few months I have used this hosting service quite extensively for my main website smarthelpguides.com and thousands of visitors have since visited my website so I will give you a complete overview and the features you get with this hosting plan. So hopefully this will help you in making a decision to buy this hosting plan and decide if this is the right plan for you. Okay, so let's first start with the cPanel. So this is the cPanel based shared hosting. So you get this cPanel to manage your server, which is really a uh, very good panel. Actually it is the best uh, because of the all the features you get and the ease of using it. So for installing WordPress, it makes it really easy as you get this auto installer, WordPress manager by Softaclus. So if you want to learn how to install WordPress on the cPanel, you can watch my other tutorial. And now let's focus on the specification of the of this hosting package you get. Um, so you get total three domains. You can host three, three uh, domains on this hosting plan. One will be your main domain. This is my main domain connected to the server, besthostoffers.club. And my second domain connected to this hosting account is smarthelpguides.com. And I have connected another domain. So you get total three domains. And apart from this, you will get to host 30 subdomains. So subdomains is basically like your blog.yourwebsite.com, shop.yourwebsite.com. So you can have 30 subdomains uh, so you can host more 30 website on this and the file count uh, usage allowed is uh, 300,000 which is quite adequate for normal website owners. So even with three WordPress installation on the server and some more files, um, it, the file count is still 30,000. So everything uh, like a text file, any email you get, every image is counted as a file and uh, you get total 50 mysql database which is again quite an enough and the uh, ram usage physical memory usage you get is 1 gb and with the cpanel it is quite really very well optimized and you can see it is currently consuming only seven percent so disclo disclaimer that my website do not get a lot of traffic so it is not very busy and this is why i bought this uh, the starting plan to test this because I knew this uh, hosting plan which should be enough for my traffic um, and you get 30 email accounts which is good enough and you will get 20, 20 GB disk space so um, this is quite good enough for most websites because even if you have a large website your website size will be like 5 to 6 GB so if you unless you have a lot of videos and stuff then your website size may increase but for normally 20 GB is good enough, okay? And the rest of, you get unlimited bandwidth and this is the rest of stuff you get, okay? So you get um, CPU usage is basically right now. The entry processes you are allowed as 20 and this is IOPS, the input output process uh, is 1024 limit and uh, sorry, this is the IO usage input output. Uh, this is 50 Mbps per second. So this is good enough for a small website. And so if you have a small website, you can get started with this because uh, with their plans are quite economical and affordable. Uh, so if you have a small website and you just want to get started, you can buy this and visit this URL, smarthelpcats.com slash Namecheap to get this best deals. The link will be in the description. So now let's have a look why this hosting is uh, especially good for WordPress websites. So Namecheap is using uh, Lightspeed for their servers. So it means you can use the Lightspeed caching plugin from the WordPress plugin repository. So I have already installed and activated it, you can see. And this is this plugin is really a, offers a lot of features and completely for free, especially if your hosting company is using the Lightspeed function, okay? The uh, page load time before using this plugin was 1.10 uh, seconds and after using this plugin it has been reduced to 0 0.08 seconds so improvement of 99 percent and the page speed score has also improved a lot okay um this 
the score is actually not uh, properly indicated because I installed and uninstalled this plugin. So that's causing a little confusion. Uh, but this, still the page speed score is 96, which is very good. And the best thing about this plugin is it offers you this image compressing feature, which uh, you cannot get for free with any other uh, caching plugin or similar plugin. Uh, especially with this kind of quality, you can compress all your image to web uh, P format, which is uh, compressed, which will reduce your image quality, uh, sorry, image size without affecting the quality. So that will increase your page loading time a lot. So these are the features you get. And, um, and with this hosting, I have not experienced any downtime since this is a shared hosting plan. So sometimes your website may get slow when there is a lot of traffic on the server. Uh, apart from this, I have not noticed any kind of downtime or very slow website. So that's it guys for my review. And if you have any other more questions or anything you want to know about this hosting plan, you can post in the comments and I will try to answer your questions. So guys, that's it for this video. Uh, do like if you found this information useful and subscribe to the channel. Also buy this hosting from the affiliate link if you want to support this channel. So I will see you in the next video.